Hello, my name is Nirov, and today I will be teaching you about data operations. The first form of data operations are variables. A variable can be a number, a text, or a boolean value stored in a block. That block is given a name and a value to be considered a variable. Variables can be changed throughout the program too. Variables are used to store data. This is important because now you can use a specific value multiple times throughout the program. The variable block can be found in the data operations section in Lego Mindstorm. When you take it out, it should look something like this. To add a variable, press this and add a variable. For example, I can add a variable called direction. Press over here to change the operation that the variable takes. Right now, for this example, we're going to keep it to right numeric and change the value of direction to 30. A simple example of using a variable is to take out a motor block. But then, to use this variable, you need to take out another variable block and change it to read numeric. And change the variable name to the one that you defined. Next, connect this wire to any of the wires here. Now, this is a simple variable program that will change the speed according to the variable value that you put as direction. Compare. The next form of data operations are compare blocks. The compare block is used to compare two numbers. This block takes two inputs, the two numbers that are being compared. As an output, the block gives out a boolean. This means the output can only be true or false. The operators that the block can compare are greater than, less than, equal to, not equal to, equal to and less than, and equal to and greater than. The compare block can also be found in the data operations section in LEGO Mindstorm. When you take it out, it should look something like this. To click this button, you'll change the operation that the compare block follows. Right now, we'll set it to equal to, and then A and B are the values that you can change. For example, I'll change the A value to 2. When this happens, this whole equation is false, because 2 is not equal to 1. But if I change it back to 1, then the value will be true. To find out how this works, we will take out the switch block and place it next to this. Next, we will change the parameter for the switch to logic and connect the equal to sign to this parameter. Next, we will take out the brick light function and put it in the checkmark box and the cross. In the checkmark box, change the light color to green and the cross box, change the light color to red. This program will check if this compare block is true or false. If it's true, it'll turn the light green, and if it's false, it'll turn the re light red. Right now, since the value is true, it'll turn the light green. But if we change this value, the B value, to 2, it'll be false, so the light will turn red. Logic. The last form of data operations are logic blocks. This block is used to compare logic statements. For example, you can check if two compare statements are both true or false. The input values are booleans. The output value is a logic statement too. To the right are the inputs and results of AND and OR statements. Basically, the operations logic statements can take. Lastly, logic blocks can also be found in the data operations section in LEGO Mindstorm. When you take it out, it will look something like this. When you click this button, you can change the parameter on the logic block. The A and B are the input values that are logic statements. And the output is a boolean. For this example, we're going to keep the operation to AND. To give a basic program, 
take out two compare blocks. For a simple demonstration, change the second one to greater than and change the A value to 5. Then connect the equal to value on the first block to A and the second block to B. Then take a switch block and put it next to the compare block blocks. Next take out two brick lights and put it inside the switch. Change the check mark light to green and the cross light to red. In the switch change the parameter to logic and connect the equal sign from logic to this parameter. This program basically checks if the value for the first compare block and the value for the second compare block are either both true or false. If it's true, it will do the green light, which it is true, so it will be green, but if it's false, then it will be red.